Right now we're about to play Banjo Kazooie again. Just doing a quick sound check here. If you remember last time when we played, we left off. Right here. 23 jigsaws, 200 notes, so let's get it started, ladies and gentlemen. Unbelievable job we did last time. We flew through it. We flew through it, and we are doing another amazing speed run slash 100% completion of the beautiful game, Banjo-Kazooie. A couple people have asked me already if this is the original N64 copy or if this is the next game, and I've tried saying it many times. This is the Xbox version of this game. So for everyone who doesn't know that, now you know. Now we're going to go over to the third level here. Let's just check our stats real quick just so everyone can remember where we left off last time. We got three in the lair. Mumbo's Mountain completed in 17 minutes. There's Treasure Trove Cove completed in 19 minutes. And we got... Looks like we got two of the eggs for the stop and swap. Nice. Stop and swoop. Stop and swoop. Why am I always... I always get those mixed up. I don't know why I always say that wrong, guys. I don't know. But... One thing's for sure is I love Banjo-Kazooie to death. I love it. Absolutely love Banjo Kazooie to death. And we're going to time this right to the end, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to time it. Guys, we are going to fully complete the Bubble Gloop Swamp now. Okay, come over here. Feed the alligator egg. Yummy, yummy. That's right, yummy, yummy in my tummy. You want yummy egg too? Well, guess what? I don't have time to get to you right this moment. Here's bottles for the level move. These are wading boots, chicken legs. Wear them so you can safely wade through the dangerous areas like the swamp. Okay, chicken, or er, Kazooie. Let's go grab a pair. Great. Now you know the swamp's new moves. Well, yeah. That's right. Or new move, I should say. Bottle. Bottles. Thank you for the new move, bottles. Those boots help you migrate, for the people that don't know how to play this game, those boots help you migrate through the muck here, and we will be doing that a little bit later. But right now we are going to be pretty much, like I said, 100% completing this game and speedrunning it, ladies and gentlemen. So that is what we are doing right now. Let's, look, let's get this puzzle piece first. Hit the switch right here. You gotta run up this ramp with a certain amount of time displayed in the corner right there while getting notes. And of course, come back for all those collectibles later the Jinjo and the other alligator that you must feed in order for the next alligator to appear. And there we go. Believe it or not, I have fallen trying to get this puzzle piece many times. But not this time. I did not fall this time. Alright, so now we're going to go back up here. And as you can see, the green Jinjo is sitting there waiting for me to collect him. Got him. Now we're going to come over here. And there is a, another Mumbo's token with some eggs laying right here on the ground. I'm going to get these. I, I have learned that when you speed run this game, it's very important that you try to collect as many eggs and red feathers as possible because you can actually burn through those really fast without realizing it. So if anyone is watching me playing this and they want to consider speedrunning this game themselves, be sure to do that. 
Erg, an ugly, hairy trespasser. He's after our goal, but he'll never beat us. That's right. And he knocked me into the water. Now these these frogs right here are very frustrating just because it's really hard to actually get to like attack them. Oh my god, I'm doing terrible right now. Let me get that honeycomb real quick. I got another honeycomb. Another honeycomb. Boom. Another honeycomb. All right. Burp, you're too tough for us. Flibbits, take our gold. That's right. I will take your gold. Trust me, because I love this game and I love the jiggies. All right. So now we're going to come over here. Again, you can speed run these levels any way you want. I prefer to do it a little bit differently. We're we'll come over here and get these notes. And you want to climb up here and you want to pound the uh, houses down one by one. I do think I cleared this level in less than 30 minutes. Uh, last time I've tried it, so we're going to try it again, see if I can improve said time. And in here you got some notes again and another witch switch. I like to call it the witch switch. Knocks the top of her hat off so you can fall down the hole and get that uh, lair jiggy. Alright, and as you can see there's another alligator there as well. Use this, use this to get another mumbo token, but I've done that many times just hopping right over. And again, if you want to if you want to try to do a speed run, like I said guys, it's very important try to limit the use of your eggs and your red feathers because I did notice that over time if you speed run these levels, you're going to find yourself needing those and guess what? You don't have them. So there's the second jiggy of the level. Or third, I should say. Just bear with me one second, I gotta check something on my computer here. Alright, no worries there. Now we hit resume game. Okay, so now you wanna come down these pedestals here. You wanna jump down these pedestals. Now this stuff, there are collectibles over here, but I'm saving them for later because there's an easier way to go through this and complete it. Uh, so next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here. Pretty much get all this stuff. Here is the, uh, what you call it, the alligator again. And those th these things are little pain in the ass asses right here. Boom, got him right there. All right, got him. So now there's another one that just popped up. All right, so now we're gonna go up this slope, such here. And again, if you want to speed run this and you're concerned about not dying, make sure you save these things for later. The honeycombs, the spare honeycombs. So now that I got the move from bottles, I can use the boots. And we're going to walk through this muck. And we are going to get all the notes here. Wait for time to run out. Grab the next pair of boots. Fly through this level here. And again, make sure that you collect all the notes going through this maze. Because I'm sure that you don't want to do it again. Trust me. I went around a sharp, a sharp, one of these sharp corners a couple times. It was really tricky. Now, before you go through that next section, I highly recommend just hitting this switch real quick and getting this jiggy over here, which is kind of difficult to get. But if you take your time, as I am right here, don't jinx me. Okay, there we go. See, it just takes a little, bit, little bit of thinking, concentration, but. 
There is the fourth Jiggy of the level. I have fallen. Oh, see, I just said it. I just said it. I have fallen many times trying to get that thing, and I just fell again. Ha <laughs> ha! Anyway, so no worries. We'll just climb right back up, and I do believe there's notes and a Jinjo over here, so that's fine. While I'm over here, I will come over and collect those because I can get those notes over there in the corner, but I'm going to save them for when I transform from Mumbo. Mumbo transforms you into a baby alligator, so I can walk through all that without having to worry about damaging myself any further than I already have. And of course, my controller batteries are low according to my Xbox. I'm not sure if that's going to actually pop up on screen, but if it does, it's going to be pretty funny. And that's going to be caught in my stream. And my controller batteries are low. Okay, so now we're going to walk through the muck again. Not a bad speed run so far. Um, I feel like we've only, we've only been going 11 minutes. I can see the counter in the corner. Not a bad speed run at all. Alright. That music, though. That music, though. All right. Now we're gonna go over here. Collect these last little bit of notes. Another token from Mumbo. I hate those buzzers, man. They're just so annoying. Those buzzers are absolutely annoying. If I remember correctly, yeah, there was a token behind his chair. Make sure you grab that. And then there's an extra honeycomb up here. Make sure you don't forget that as well. And now we're going to transform for the first time into said alligator. Not a bad transformation. Um, it is one of my favorite ones in this game. I do like the pumpkin the most in the haunted level, which we'll get to that eventually. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to go over here. Remember earlier I said you want to come get these notes over here in this corner you want to make sure that you get all these and it's actually like I said it's easier to just get these while you have the opportunity as an alligator alright there we go so we got those cleared out and then if you want you can come over here and do the alligator challenge um, in this alligator thing where you're gonna do a little challenge I'm going to do that now just so I can get it out of the way don't forget there's notes in both tunnels and then there's also a token right here yes you will end up with a lot of extra tokens but it's important that you just grab as many as you can because you don't want to get to mumbo and then end up missing tokens her 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 I'm Mr. Vile greediest croc of all play for a prize that's right well, let's get it started, man. Basically, in the first challenge, you want to eat all the red... Um, they look like onions to me. But you want to eat all the red... I'm just going to call them onions, because that's what they look like. You want to get all the red onions that you can possibly get. First challenge is not that hard. The third, the second and third ones can be kind of challenging if you don't do it right. There is a theory that I have with this particular challenge, and it can help you if you are struggling with it. If you can cut him off from getting these red on these onions while you're eating them, see as I'm blocking him. If you can do that, then you can actually slow his score down, obviously. So that'll actually help you in the other two stages you'll see here as we progress five more seconds left of this one 
Boom. All right, so that's the first one. Grr, you're only win easy game. Now we play harder game. Eat reds, avoid yellows. Okay. So in this one, obviously, you want to do the same thing, except don't eat the yellow ones. So this one, like I said, can be tricky. Um, as you can see, he has a closer lead than last time. But you can see I'm blocking him, so I'm starting to open that lead back up. I think I have this one in hand, but like I said, it's just best to just best to keep it going. Do the best you can the whole time. And I won with seven. Seven in the lead. That's not bad. Must play last game. Only eat what is shown at the top of the screen. So this one's the most tricky one. And you do gotta block. Because if you don't block, you probably are not gonna win this one. It is difficult. Alright, cool. I got some blocks there. Got some of those in. Oh, man. Then the pop... They pop in and out faster, too, which is also... See, he's pulling back in now. Reeling me back in for the lead. Oh, man, this is going to be a close one. Like I said, it's not the easiest thing. Oh, wow. See, I lost. Wow. Wow. Okay, so now I gotta retry this. I'm kind of mad that I lost, so I'm going to try really hard to win this one. Because I did not lose this one last time. So let's try this again. There is kind of a science to this, and it's, it's it gets difficult here. I think I might have got lucky. Let's see. I did. I won. Woo! Awesome. So there's the last one. Mr. Vile never gets the prize. Yeah, well, guess what? I won. Boom. Okay, so now we got that completed. That challenge is a little time consuming. Okay, so now we are going to run over here. Glad I saved that little bit of extra energy over here. Boom. You want to collect this stuff again while you're a alligator, crocodile, whatever. And these things underneath these platforms, you are not able to actually get them unless you are an alligator. So, make sure that you do it. I'm going to come over here in the corner. 
They did have the boots over here hiding if you did want to just get the stuff and then run back, but it just doesn't make sense, you know, to do that. I'm gonna come over here and get these notes over here. Get an extra live, why not? Even though I'm never gonna die anyway. I've literally played this game so many times through, guys, and I can actually make it through without dying. Sometimes I get stuck on the boat level. Rusty Bucket Bay, when, um... I'm trying to figure that out. I get stuck at the last, one of the last puzzle pieces there. Alright, boom. There's a Jinjo, get him. Oh, and look at that, I got another Jiggy. Jinjo. Awesome. Okay. I do want to get all this stuff while I'm an alligator because it just makes it so much easier. I have to run back and try to injure myself in any way. Boom, boom, boom. And I'll come back over here once I transform back. Alright. Not a bad run so far. Not a bad run. We're about to get all the notes for this level. We've been in this level about 20 minutes. And this is the third level of Banjo-Kazooie for people that don't know and are not familiar with this game. This is the third level of the game. Man, the, we are doing such a good job completing this. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that I am done in this form for this level, so I'm going to go back to Mumbo and transform back. Mumbo's going to love me, man, I'm telling you. Let's check my health real quick. Okay, I'm only one away. Nice. Nicest. Alrighty, so... We have to go over here, go under there, go back to Mumbo. Have Mumbo transform back. Look at that. Now we're back to Banjo Kazooie. Banjo and Kazooie. Banjo and Kazooie. Alrighty. Alright, so we're going to take a little detour here once I get the boot again. It's going to go right through, right through here. This is just faster. You don't want to go back through that whole maze again. Kind of pointless. This is a quicker way to go. Especially if you're trying to speed run this game, just go the quicker way. Trust me, it saves you some time. Oh, crap. Fell right in the... Right in there. Alright, so before I go over here and get with the turtle, I'm going to... Wow, I have terrible aim right now. I was trying to get that, uh... Thing out of the way, but I guess not. There we go. Boom. Standing in a honeycomb. That's funny. Boom. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to work on the turtle. Alright, so now... There's another Jiggy. Tank Tup. Thank you, Tank Tup. Another Jiggy. We'll go inside here. I do believe we're about to get the remainder of these notes, which are hidden in here. Very quickly grab those notes. Boom. Another Mumbo token back here, so make sure you grab that. Tip Tup's Choir. Uh. 
Uh, okay, so now basically what you got to do is you just got to pound the turtles in order three times, which can be difficult if you don't know what you're doing. Mmm, not too bad. Try lesson two. All right, so red, purple, pink, yellow, red. It's simple. So red, purple, pink, yellow, red. There we go, that's lesson two. Ah, splendid. You just need one more lesson. Blue. Yellow. Red. Blue. Blue. Red. Blue. Alright, I might mess this one up, but I'll try. Blue. Yellow. Red. Blue. Blue. Red. Okay, I figured I messed that one up. Let's try it again. Repeat it. Let's try it again. I probably messed up one little thing. Okay, so... Light blue. Yellow. Red. Light blue. Blue. Red. Light blue. Light blue. Yellow. Red. Light blue. Blue. Red. Light blue. There we go. And there we have it. The Jiggy. Yeah, but it boo. That's the night jiggy. And make sure that you get on this platform and do a backflip because guess what? There's that extra honeycomb. And there's my first extension for my life bar. Boom. Very important that you grab that. Those things become very valuable as you progress through the game. You don't want to miss them. I know they're a pain to find, but you don't want to miss them. Alright, so now we're going to go over here and finish off this level real quick. Another token right there. And what you want to do is you want to jump on top of the egg. Grab the extra life if you want it. I don't need it because guess what? I don't die, but let's get it anyway. Break down this egg. It's pretty simple. You just do a number of Banjo's moves on the egg. And then there's the final Jiggy of the level. Duh -huh. Duh -huh. So now we're going to exit out of... Bubble Goop Swamp, ladies and gentlemen, because we have finished this level. We did hit the witch switch. It's important that you remember the the witch switches because they become a pain to remember. And there we go. Now we'll double check right here just to be sure. View totals. Bubble Goop Swamp complete in 26 minutes and 25 seconds. I do believe that is a record for myself. I do believe that is a record for myself for that level, so I'm very happy about that. I do need to find a pair of boots. Oh crap, I fell. In, I fell. Look at me. Look at me falling. Where are those boots at? They're probably... There we go. Man, I don't think these are going to last, but... You really should be doing this in the alligator form. But I'm going to try to get as far as I can through this tunnel. 
I know they're gonna last. Huh. Alright, do the talent trot up the hill. Just bust this open first. Even though I can't get in there. So now we're going to open up the next level, which is right here. I'm just going to go ahead and put all the puzzle pieces in at once. Freezy Peak is now open, ladies and gentlemen. Freezy Peak. There we go. Now we're going to look for the boots. Where are they at? There they are. Boots right here. And look at us flying through, guys. Very fast completion right here. Very fast completion. Alright. So we look like we're good to go there. Okay, well that was kind of pointless. Alrighty. So now let's go back over here. I do believe the next step is we gotta open the next note door. Alrighty. We should obviously have enough notes for this next note door because... Why? Because I've collected every note so far. Alright, so let's go ahead. Note door says 260. We got 300. Boom. Alright, Talon Trot right up the door there. First come in here, you want to knock down these bricks. Those boots will help you cross into Golby's Valley. Mumbo's token behind the coffin here. I'm going to knock down this next brick wall here. Go through this tunnel. This will bring you to this goon. And then you want to hit this switch. That switch will pop up with that next to that vase. All right. So when you come out here, you want to jump on the vase. You want uh, you want to jump from the switch to the vase. There we go. Fall down the hole. Remember the witch switch. There you go. That's the witch switch. Now we got four for the lair. Four jiggies for the lair. Not bad. Alright, now we're gonna go ahead and jump up here. Awesomeness. And since I don't have Gulbly's Valley opened yet, the next level would be Freezy Peak. Now, Freezy Peak gets a little difficult for people. There is a little thing in there that I do want to mention once I progress here in a second. But basically, with Freezy Peak... Alright, there we go. So basically, with Freezy Peak, you're not going to be able to get every single j uh, Jiggy in one run. You're just not going to be able to do that because the running shoes that are available... There is, I think there's one or two jig jiggies, correct me if I'm wrong, there's one or two. But you have to go to Gulbly's Valley to get those running shoes. That's the next note door, we're not going there yet. So I come up here, and we are going to open this up. Open up this portal here. Backflip out of here. See, guys, completing a game is fun. You straight up complete it. Alright, so I want to do a separate video on when we actually enter Gobley's, uh, Gobley's Valley and Freezy Peak, so we are going to save the game right here, ladies and gentlemen. If you like my Twitch streams, make sure that you give them some views. Make sure that you follow here on Twitch with notifications turned on. If you like the YouTube video, give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe. 
Again, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tony Tornado. And ladies and gentlemen, I love my... <laughs>